Oh, hello there. Uh, I would like to take you on a wonderful magical tour of car interiors today. Um, show you how to uh, think about and draw car interiors. Um, here's just a quick mock-up I did. Here's one that sort of illustrates where all the basic shapes are. So you've got like squares for the sheets, uh, the sheets, squares for the seats. It's really late. Um, circles for the gauges. How can you break it down to its most basic elements and uh, how do you render those in context? You know, for a lot of car interiors, they're very, um, you know, there's a lot of forms, a lot of shapes, a lot of lines um, continuing from the whole design in and around um, beyond just the dashboard. So how do you think about all of those elements together? So I'm just gonna show you a quick um, way that I sketch it and uh, I'm sure it's like completely wrong, but um, see if it helps and uh, show me what your, uh, what your renderings turn out like. All right, so come on over here, let me show you. All right, so the first thing I like to do is uh, First, imagine that your view is is uh, kind of a fisheye, so it's going to come around in a big curve, and you're going to it's going to feel a little exaggerated um, than it may than it may you know feel like it is right. But you know the kind of lines that you're following around the whole dashboard, and you can imagine up here is your you know your A pillar, and uh, the windshield comes across. So. So you're gonna to have to play with these lines a lot. And again, if you've seen my other videos, you're gonna you know, trace this and flip it over and trace it again and flip it over. Interiors are no different um, from that sense because you're really looking for the lines that, that are continuous throughout the whole thing. So from here, if you just imagine, um, you know, there's kind of a dotted line that goes down the center. Um, it goes down the back firewall and it follows right down the middle of the car. Your uh, drivetrain is going to be this elevated hump in the middle here. So just imagine that there's, um, you know, a fairly decent size uh, tube or something like that here. Uh, other than that, you can see that there's the firewall runs down here. Here's your driver's side door. There's a back wall here and then from here you're just kind of exaggerated because it's at the far end of the you know perceived uh, camera line so from here you know you can have your steering wheel here and it's hard when you render you know a car the steering wheel sometimes can feel kind of clunky um, putting it in there so I just like to put indicate a circle when I'm doing the design part of it and, and really go trying to figure out what the shape is going to be um, from there you can always sort of imagine that there's lines that come in here from the a-frame they come in they may come in for the armrests and you've always got your handle about at the end of where the fingertips are for your armrest so if this is your armrest you know your um, handle would be here you usually have speakers down here and you don't need to indicate them with giant circle speakers but you know that's what is here are those speakers um, usually your dashboard will come a little lower it, it obscures a lot of that um, kind of stuff and uh, right here in this area where the drivetrain comes up to meet the dash um, you know this is where all different kinds of stuff can happen um, you know some models like uh, trucks and Jeeps will have like nothing here or they'll have a fold down thing um, others like sedans luxury car this will be a kind of a continuous um, swooping uh, you know uh, plane that comes down from here and you may have your you know gear shift here or storage radio um, all of those buttons in here from here as these lines come up you can you know see that you've got your center line uh, you know pretty much on target here and you're gonna have dashes and gauges here unless you're driving the best car ever the 2005 Scion XB then you're gonna have like a weird kind of like circle thing here you know Mini Coopers a lot of different cars have different gauge configurations in different places so depending on what you're drawing it's all gonna be you know open season in terms of what goes where um, from here you can imagine also that there's seats that are gonna run from wherever about your gear shift is you can just imagine a line um, going across and this is going to be where your where your seats are um, drawing seats is an interesting um, exercise I think the sportier the better in terms of uh, how your seats look but again it's all different depending on if you're drawing a, a truck or um, you know a sports car or something like that so if you can imagine your seats there you've got pedals which you can either draw or indicate and then you know what you're gonna do now is you're like okay looks good let's flip it over and uh, try it again and you're gonna draw it again this time you may exaggerate some of these features and you're gonna see you know what I'm gonna bring this around like this and 
I'm going to bring up a curve here and a swoop there like that. And I'm going to look for some sharper angles here. Um, maybe, hey, I'm going to go ahead and follow the complete opposite and I'm going to make this, uh, you know, a British car. We'll put the... Uh, you know, steering wheel on this side, and let's say I'm just going to get crazy with the da with the uh, dash configuration. I'm going to bring in like a kind of a swoop here, and I'm going to indicate that there's some um, you know components under there. Let's say I'm going to bring this up here, and this is actually going to tuck up under there like that. And so, you know, this is where you'll start to continue to identify the basic lines and keep going and keep going and flip it over and try it one more time and you know just like any other rendering this is you know I just wanted to get something in cut in uh, with some depth here to show you but you know this is pretty terrible representation I would trace this about like 15 more times before I would really color it but it's just an example of how to move from you know if you're going for something like this to really illustrate it to something which is a real sloppy sketch um, and again don't forget the original which is sort of illustrating um, you know what are the basic shapes and components we're we're looking at here it's you know rectangles rectangles squares circles circles um, reduce it to its most basic shape and uh, then from there you can really have fun with it and um, try going for some more of the curvy elements so so that's all for today's uh, quick demo I will maybe throw up um, some behind the scenes footage later in the week on doing some of the rendering uh, make sure you subscribe let me know your questions and uh, we'll see you later